Though bacteria lack organelles, they nevertheless have several distinct compartments. The largest compartment is the cytoplasm where all the central dogma processes occur. Surrounding the cytoplasm is the inner membrane, and a protein can be peripherally associated with the inner membrane on either side. Alternatively, a protein can be fully integrated into the membrane. Beyond the inner membrane is a gelatinous environment called the periplasm. Proteins can be targeted here as well. Then there is the outer membrane, which also contains proteins. Finally, there is the extracellular environment. Thus, there are five distinct regions to the bacterium, and proteins become localized to these regions through targeting. Since translation occurs in the cytoplasm, the default location for a new protein is the cytoplasm. It is very easy to target a protein to the inner membrane or periplasm by putting a short sequence called pre or pre-pro on the protein's end terminus. Some proteins targeted to the periplasm will spontaneously insert into the outer membrane, but it is often challenging to direct a protein here that it is not from here in the native context. Finally, there are many ways to secrete a protein, but it is often challenging to do so in E. coli. Since gram-positive bacteria lack the outer membrane, the mechanisms of periplasmic targeting result in secretion in these organisms, and the process is much more efficient. Thus, in most biotechnology applications that involve protein secretion, either a B. subtilis strain or a picia yeast is typically employed. To target a protein to the inner membrane or the periplasm, one puts a pre-sequence on the end terminus of it. These sequences are typically 18 to 30 amino acids in length and encode one or more basic residues near the end terminus and a 7 amino acid hydrophobic core. The pre-sequence is also called a signal sequence or a leader sequence. It is recognized by a set of sec proteins that associate with the ribosome and actively transport the protein through the membrane. To get a protein from the inner membrane to the periplasm, all that is required is cleavage of the sec signal peptide. There are periplasmic proteins called leader peptidases that do this. LSPA and LETB are two of these. The sequences they act upon are pre-sequences, more specifically called pre-pro, due to the added processing. They are specific sequences that are distinct from the pre-sequences that allow this processing to occur. Rather than design these sequences de novo, it is most common to use ones from well-expressed periplasmic proteins such as PELB, OMPA, or OMPT. There are various reasons why you might want to send a protein to the periplasm. Some proteins are toxic in the cytoplasm, but just fine in the periplasm. Some, like antibodies, require the oxidative or calcium-rich environment of the periplasm for proper folding and production. Also, most proteins targeted to the outer membrane or for secretion will first be transported to the periplasm. There is another route by which a protein can get to the periplasm called the TAT pathway. Here the signal sequence is a short peptide that can be anywhere in the sequence. The main difference between TAT and SEC is that proteins are transported after folding by TAT, while SEC transports the protein in an unfolded state. Outer membrane proteins typically have a beta barrel structure that enables them to spontaneously insert into the outer membrane. The first step, however, is targeting to the periplasm by SEC secretion. There are many mechanisms for getting proteins outside of the cell, but one simple mechanism is autotransporters and two-partner secretion. The most studied example of this is the AG43 protein. In autotransporters, one domain of the protein is a beta barrel that spontaneously inserts into the outer membrane, and then the passenger domain is pulled through the pore and displayed on the surface. Often the passenger domain will be proteolytically cleaved, resulting in secretion. Two partner systems do a similar thing, but the passenger and displayer domains are separated into two polypeptides. Targeting a protein for secretion is very simple in a gram-positive organism like B. subtilis since there is no second membrane. A gene encoding a protein targeted for periplasmic secretion in E. coli will encode a secreted protein in B. subtilis. However, there are other mechanisms by which a protein can be targeted uh, to, for secretion in a gram-negative bacterium. We already saw autotransporters, but there are more elaborate routes as well. Type 1, 2, and 3 secretion are the most common routes, and each requires additional proteins that form channels between the membranes, allowing specific proteins to travel through.